Hi everyone, Laura from Nanny Parent Connection here. Today's video topic is the top four nanny pay questions answered. These are the questions that I most commonly hear from nannies, so I thought it would be a great idea to bring to a video so that more people could get a good understanding of just how they should handle it when these topics arise. Question number one. When is the right time to ask for a raise? A great time to ask for a raise is when you're coming to the end of your contract. This is typically a year's time and the family wants to renew the contract with you. Now you can negotiate a cost of living rate increase for 2022. The cost of living is going to actually increase by over 5%. So make sure you factor that in, figure out what that looks like for you and ask for at least that. Anytime the household duties change or you're caring for an additional child, your rate should also change accordingly. So this could be taking on any household assisting duties, household management duties, or even if there's a new child born in the family or the roles transitioning into caring for another sibling, for example, um, these are great times to ask for a raise. Question number two, how much of a raise should I ask for when there's a care of another child that is needed or additional household duties are being added to my role? When the family has another baby and that new baby is going to be cared for by you, or perhaps there's a different sibling that now requires care as part of the role within the household, that is when most nannies would probably ask for a two to three dollar per hour raise. Now for a very experienced nanny, this could look like even more, maybe three to five dollars per hour more. When additional household assisting or household management duties are being added to the role, that's going to look like another two to three dollars per hour or more depending on the level of responsibility needed and also the number of household duties being added. Question number three, and this is a really big one. What should I do if I'm not getting paid overtime pay for working more than 40 hours in a week? I get this question a lot from nannies and quick side note, I also get this question, kind of a similar question, you know, do I have to pay for overtime from parents when I'm speaking about what they're looking for in a nanny? Well, the short answer is yes, it's the law. It's not a choice. And this isn't something a nanny should have to ask for. It should be something that's discussed in the contract. If it's kind of an outlier week and you end up working more than 40 hours in a week, that should just automatically happen. Nannies, if for some reason you're not getting overtime pay, absolutely address this with the family. It is the law. The bottom line is unless you're a live-in nanny, there are some differences in overtime pay laws regarding live-in childcare. But if you're a regular nanny living outside of the family's home, you need to be getting paid overtime pay, which is time and a half your regular hourly rate for any hours worked over 40 in a week. Now to give you a quick sample calculation, if you're a nanny working at $25 an hour for 45 hours a week and you're not receiving overtime pay, you would be making $1,125 per week. Now, if you're working 45 hours per week and you're getting paid as you should be for overtime pay, those five hours per week, you're gonna be making $25 an hour times 40 hours in a week, that comes out to $1,000. Now, if you're working five hours per week at $37.50, which is time and a half of your regular $25 an hour rate, you would be making $187.50 of overtime pay per week. Now, if you start to factor that in for a whole year, that really starts adding up and also nearly $200 per week. That's a good chunk too. So make sure you're not missing out on that overtime pay. If you factor all of this in and figure out what you would be making being paid at your regular rate, 45 hours per week for the year versus what you would be making for your regular pay plus overtime pay rate for those 45 hours per week, you factor that in over the year, that's over $3,000 that you're missing out on. So in summary, overtime pay is not something that you should have to ask for as a nanny, although the reality is that many nannies do need to ask for this because they find themselves in a situation where their employer is not following the law. So if you find yourself in this situation, nannies, make sure you bring it to your employer's attention right away. Now I've put together just a sample script of what you could say to your nanny family when bringing this topic up. When we were first discussing payroll, I didn't realize it was the law that I receive overtime pay. Now I was doing some calculations and I realized I'm missing out on over $3,000 in overtime pay each year. I would like to make sure that the legal labor standards are being met for this position. So of course, there are many ways you can bring this up with your employer. That is just one sample verbiage option that you could potentially use if you're unsure of how to convey this to your family. Question number four, how do I ask for paid sick leave? Well, the first step is to educate yourself on your state's law. There are many different law variations pertaining to sick leave. And I know in Washington state in particular, where I'm located, nannies are entitled to one hour of paid sick time for every 40 hours they work. 
This is typically something that is tracked through payroll. Although it's worth mentioning that it is a nanny industry standard to receive not only your paid time off, but also to be paid that accrued sick time. So just make sure that the law is at least being met and that you're comfortable with whatever you and your family settle on. So educate yourself on the law and make sure that those requirements for any paid sick time are being met and fulfilled contractually. All right, everyone, that's it for the top four nanny pay questions answered. I hope you found this information helpful. Please click the like button, ring the bell, subscribe if you like this content, and I will see you again next time. Thank you. Bye, everyone.